Putting on a new optic can feel like you're breathing new life into an old gun, but it also means you need to zero it. This can be challenging or even frustrating when you can't get your first shots on paper, and when ammo is in short supply, using up ammo to get on paper isn't just wasteful, it can be alarmingly expensive. Thankfully, you can make it easier with a laser bore sighter, and you may already own one. I own a cheap Wolf Road red laser bore sighter that I bought six years ago, and I've used it a ton. But until Wolf Road sent me this new 5 milliwatt green laser bore sighter, I didn't know how much better a green laser was compared to a red one, and I'm going to give you a chance to find out yourself. I'm giving away one of these laser bore sighters to 10 random subscribers on my new YouTube channel, Moondog R&D. Click on the link on screen now, or if you're on a device that doesn't show or lets you click on screen links, don't worry, you'll find a text link in this video's description, okay? But if you're not interested in winning one of these, don't worry, we're going to get on with doing the product review of this bore cider. So let's get out to the range and check it out. Okay, so this is my new Wolf Road bore cider that I am going to be reviewing. And interestingly enough, this is my old bore cider, which is just so happens by sure chance, because I didn't even remember, is also by Wolf Road. And this is pretty much my uh, the standard bore cider that uh, many of us have bought. Uh, this is about five, six years old. And uh, it is a, it runs off of these little button batteries, which I've grown to really hate because they just don't last very long. Even uh, when you're not using it, they it seems inevitable that 50% of the time, if I try this out, the battery is already dead. But uh, so let's see, I haven't used this in a few months. And yes, good, it is working. But as you can see, um, in broad daylight, not super bright. Uh, let's see if we can get, if I can find find this. I can see it on the wall, which is about 10, 10 yards away. And I can see it on that column, but in direct daylight on that column? Nope, not at all. And let's see if I can find it again. Uh, in realistic distance, you're gonna get maybe about 15 yards, uh, 10 yards in broad daylight with uh, one of these bore ciders. That's why I was excited about getting this new green laser one, because it's much brighter. And inside we have the instruction manual, and that is thankfully in English. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Definitely check that out if you haven't used one of these before. And we have the bore cider rod itself, which looks pretty much like the red one I had, except a little bit bigger. It comes with a small Phillips screwdriver, and it also has an Allen wrench, and you can use that to, I guess, make small adjustments onto the laser if for some reason it goes off. But uh, usually you don't generally touch that thing. Uh, it also comes with a, a spare, what looks to be maybe a 9mm or 45 caliber plug. Uh, it comes with a range of plugs going from 22 all the way to 50 cal. And it comes with a spare set of bare plug screws. Um, so I suppose if you wanted to make your own custom plug, well, you could use those screws. And here's the big difference. It is powered by a CR2 lithium battery, which is much larger than those button batteries. So here's how you install the battery. Just note the battery diagram. The positive end goes towards the stem, towards where your barrel is, and the negative goes towards the emitter end. So you put the battery inside the battery chamber, and then um, just note there's a little spring there that's uh, for negative. Uh, you just place it in negative end first, and you slip it in, and it should lock into the groove, and as soon as it does, it'll make contact and it'll turn on. And then you turn it off by just rotating it so that the little um, uh, nub uh, uh, pushes away from the indentation and uh, causes a gap and it turns off. So it's on, turn it, and it's off. So we're going to test this out on a 22 long rifle, a 10-22. And you just take the, uh, I took the smallest spud, which will fit a 22 or a 5.56, 5 and you just screw it onto the tip. Now, as you tighten it, little flanges at the end of the plug, little petals, will splay out and center the stem inside of your bore. Then you just carefully insert that rubber end into your muzzle. 
Now sometimes this can be a little tight and the natural tendency is to twist uh, the bore cider uh, to try to get it into your muzzle. Now be, just be mindful that as you turn it, you're twisting it, that you're twisting it counterclockwise because you don't want to turn it clockwise and accidentally unscrew your little plug while it's inside of the barrel. Just gently insert until you've hit resistance and it gently seats itself on the crown of your muzzle. And then just rotate the battery chamber if it isn't on already and check to see that uh, the laser is on. So we're set up at 25 yards. I've previously tested and zeroed out this optic so I know that it's dead on. So what we should be seeing here if this bore sighter is built correctly and installed correctly is that the green dot should land pretty much where the crosshairs are. And you can see it just resting above and a little bit to the right of the center crosshairs. That's pretty spot on. So I moved the rifle and the bench out to 50 yards and reinserted the bore cider. And as you can see, uh, the dot did shift over to the left, but it's still pretty darn good for a laser bore cider. You're only about a hash mark away from the center of the reticle. You're, you're on paper, but more importantly, you can still see it at 50 yards. Okay, well, let's push it out to 100, I thought. I repositioned the rifle and the stand out at the 100 yard benches and um, let's see what we can see. Okay, this is remarkable because I could immediately see the green dot. Actually, it was even easier to see the green dot against the dark gray AR600 steel backstop than the paper target. Okay, and as you can see, the dot's still aligned to the first hash mark to the left of the center crosshairs. And even with a random variance in the tolerances of, you know, seeding this thing, um, these laser bore sighters, I'm still pretty confident if we shot it, we'd be on paper at this range. And that's the key thing here is, you know, with the, any of these tools is getting the first shot on paper because once you get some holes on there, then you can actually make the fine tuning to zero out your optic for real to the ammo that you're shooting. Now, obviously we're in shade here and in open sunlight, you probably couldn't see the dot, but that's not the point. At an outdoor range, you could put, say, an open ammo box on the ground and use that, use the inside, the shaded part of the box as your target or MacGyver some other solution. Point is, the bore cider works out to 100 yards, which is astounding to me because I was seeing it with my naked eyes without the scope at 100 yards. From a laser bore cider that costs less than 20 bucks. And at this price, even if you already have a red laser bore cider that works like I did, heck, I'd upgrade. And if you're interested in picking up one of these yourself, I've included links in the video description. It's sold under the Wolf Road brand as well as the VIP Hiker brand. They're the same product. I don't know why there's two different names, but you know, whatever. And if you got something out of this review, please hit that like button and the subscribe button because it signals the AI algorithm that this is the kind of content you're interested in watching instead of say celebrity lip sync competitions. And it'll suggest more content that you're actually interested in watching. So it's a win-win. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I've started a new channel, Moondog R&D, a channel focused on gadget reviews, photo and video gear, you know, geeky stuff. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you were as surprised by the performance of these boresiders as I was, and I hope you win one of them. Thanks for watching. Moondog, out. Hey, if you like this video, please share it on social media. You know, Facebook, forums, MeWe, whatever platform you're on. And if you want to see more videos, check out MoondogIndustries.com.